So good day everyone, we are the Group B and today we are going to discuss the controversy about Dr. Jose Rizal's marriage to Josephine Brockett. But let us introduce ourselves first. So I am Curb Spain G. Corpus. I am Amiros E. Daig. I am April Jean Bustamante. I am Ryan J. Colorico. I am Wensi Carl G. Duenas. I am Kyla Chloe de la Madrid. I am Benesi de la Cruz. I am Jan M. Dominguez. So now I'm going to share my screen. So can you see my screen? Yes. So now let's start to talk about the controversy of Dr. Jose Rizal's marriage to Josephine Brocken. During the exile of Dr. Jose Rizal in the Pitan, he met a petite woman who had a blue eyes and brown hair. Her name is jo Marie Josephine Leopold in Bracken. We've heard that she was only 18 years old when she arrives in the Pitan, while Jose Rizal was 34 years old at that time. They have met when Josephine Bracken accompanied a blind patient to his clinic that he founded. Also, we've heard that before the execution of Jose Rizal in the year 1896, he married Josephine Bracken. They had a common law marriage, which is a non-ceremonial or informal marriage. So this marriage of Jose Rizal and Josephine Bracken introduced us or arose our interest because of the fact that he documented his affairs and he was also known as to be uh, or to be a legendary playboy in the history. But at the end, he married someone. We are also interested about the story behind of their marriage. So, Josephine lived with a family of George Toffer because her father cannot su support all of them, which leads to the adoption of Josephine. Mr. Toffer stands to be the second father of Josephine. So, Mr. Toffer um, started to have trouble in his eyes, which leads to uh, an Fast forward, their attraction and growing feelings to each other was not a smooth one because Rizal's sister thought Josephine is a spy. But along the way, Jose Rizal and Josephine had a child. And sadly, after Josephine's giving birth, their baby is already dead or what we call a stillborn baby. They part ways that time because Jose Rizal left for Cuba in 1896. Furthermore, they reunited for the last time be before Jose Rizal's execution at Bagumbayan and they get married in Catholic rites by Father Victor Balaguer. So they still tackle this controversy because Josephine is part of Jose Rizal's life and Josephine had a special spot for Jose Rizal. In order to know more about Jose Rizal, we must also include people that is with him and that is that are part of Jose Rizal's journey to become one of our national hero. Josephine also wrote a brief description about her life, and that includes Jose Rizal. That's why we dig deeper and study more about Jose Rizal's life because we want to commemorate his past and to know him even more so that the future generation will never forget about him and tackle all his sacrifices for the Philippines. The controversy was all about the marriage of Dr. Azarizel to Josephine Bracken, an Irish. She was born on October 3, 1876, in Victoria Barracks in Hong Kong. Her father worked in the British Army. After Josephine's mother died, she was taken in by her, by her American godfather, George Toffer, a blind. Toffer remarried another woman, and because of that, Josephine decided to leave in convent for two months. Bracken knew about Rizal and recommended her blind adopted, fa adopted father to see Jose Rizal, who was a respected ophthalmologist. 
Dr. Osarizal helped to her to have a double cataract, then Osarizal fell in love in, with Josephine at first sight and want to marry her. The couple got married in the early morning hours of December 30, 1896, the day of his execution by firing squad in Fort Santiago. This marriage was considered as a controversy because Father Antonio Obak of the Pitan refused to marry them without a special dispensation from the Bishop of Cebu. But the dispensation was not given because Rizal was a Mason and, Jos and Josephine was a Roman Catholic. Dr. Rosa Rizal was really diligent to be married to Josephine Bracken, so his mother suggested a civil marriage, which she believed to be, to be a lesser sacrament, but free from hypocrisy. Nevertheless, the two people, the two couple, got married without letting others know about it. Doctor Rosirizal marriage to Josephine Bracken has nothing to do with nationalism. Rizal became one of the great national heroes in the Philippines, not because of his love love life, but because of his nationalism. He shows his nationalism through his advocacy of significant reform during the Spanish rule and by fighting for our country's freedom in silent but powerful way. However, this re relationship of or marriage has affected Rizal. He was deeply saddened with the incident that resulted to be premature to the premature birth of their son. Controversial subjects presents individuals with an excellent chance to think for themselves and explain their own positions on critical, political, social, ethical, and moral matters. A person's self-esteem may develop when they gain confidence in exp expressing themselves or creating ideas. Handling with controversial matters in group may be quite emotional, especially if they include values, beliefs, or ethical standards. Controversies about this matter should not be ignored. Nevertheless, people should remember that the quality of the debate is more, is more important than who is thought to be winning. Like Dr. Jose Rizal's marriage to Josephine Bracken, the controversy about Rizal caught Josephine Bracken was a spy of the Spaniards. After knowing, he violently hurt Josephine Bracken that leads to miscarriage. In order to understand a person, we must know that the good and bad side of a situation and to know the other side of Dr. Sarzal and other people. As they say, there is always two sides of the story. So, so that you will know for yourself what to do on the situation if ever you will be involved in a similar situation. We learned about the controversy about Josephine Bracken and the importance of controversy in today's time. Josephine Bracken was a Hong Kong-born Irish woman who was born in 1877. She was Rizal's common-law wife and she departed Manila three days after Rizal's death because Rizal's family did not like her. Josephine traveled to Cavite to take part in the revolution where she assisted the injured and sick. She returned to Hong Kong after her stint in Cavite because the Spanish government threatened to jail her for collaboration with the rebels. Jose Rizal's dear wife was her. They embraced for the last time a few hours before his execution and he handed a souvenir, a religious book inscribed with his devotion to my dear and unhappy wife, Josephine. Josephine is a lovely woman who has dedicated her life to the cause of the Filipinos beyond the crisis belt. She grew into a powerful lady who believed that it was her duty to aid Filipinos struggle, struggle for independence. She made a promise to aid the regular people and was inspired to her late husband. By reading Dr. Rosarizal, there are many things that we discovered about his life. Since the first topic that we didn't know, 
But knowing his story, his birthplace, his family, etc., there are a lot of things that we've learned, discovered, and realized. But in this paper, he came up to the topic about Dr. Rosario's marriage to Josephine Bracken. We realized that by knowing a person, you must know them by reading them or by searching for reliable sources and a tangible information that could tell us the real information. By this, we learned something about his life and his wife that he married to her before Dr. Jose Rizal's execution at Bagong Bayan. And we realized that Rizal was such a lover, not just to his family in our country, but also to his woman. And we realized that he can live until his last hour in this world. He still married a girl. He loves and chooses to be his last woman to marry. More. We've realized that this controversy has significantly impact to our society throughout the years. Their love with each other was wholesome. It relays a message to the people, especially the youth, that marriage is important when you build a family. As what you can see, Rizal is dying and Josephine was not accepted by Rizal's family. And that time, but they able to get married. Rizal must be afraid of his reputation because Josephine got pregnant before marriage. But Rizal has never loved back. In fact, nowadays, he takes the responsibility in this modern time. What happened to Rizal has also happened to people nowadays, especially the youth. However, they must value the marriage before building a family. Indeed, a marriage is is carried a blessing and ceremony as one that should be valued. So that would be all. Thank you for listening. We hope that you get a lot of lessons and realizations about the controversy of Dr. Jose Rizal's marriage to Josephine Brocken.